Hey, what's happening, gamers? It's Amber here with Kim's Let's Plays. There Hope once everyone stays was a dream great world today. In which familiar friends from the most heroic and today to the we're going to be doing some more Disney Dreamlight Valley as usual. However, like I said, I will try to get into passed, some other games the when I get a chance. Sentiment. But and the world this is very easy darkness. for me to just keep going Until with, and um, I do have some other games on my plate, but. I don't really want to tell you guys what I was again. thinking of because uh, you guys will get disappointed if I end up not being able With to do that. Out. So, this dream world. Link, be a good person. Link, hey, don't go up there. So, um, yeah. This so, anyways, um, just, um no today, worries. Link and I are recovering from all the chemicals in the house because we had to deep clean our house for the apartment inspection. Which I find it odd that they would say, oh, just keep it up like this all the time. And it's like, well, if I kept it up like this all the time, I would die because there's so many chemicals in my house. So I took a little picture of my cats um, by the windowsill today because they're trying to get fresh air. Because um, we had to clean everything and it, that can, for me... Some people, maybe that doesn't bother, but for me and my cats, it definitely bothers. Uh, my, uh, I can, uh, like, feel a little pain in my face right now, just, like, sitting here. I can kind of smell all the chemicals coming from the basement. But, um, but I'm very thankful that I still have a place to, to live and everything. Um, you know, they have been evicting a lot of people around where I am. Just, uh, just for no reason. <laughs> So, um, I'm just very, I'm very grateful. I'm thankful to God and to everyone for praying for me and thinking of me. And I'm just thankful that I still have a place to live. So that's good. Um, everything should be fine. They just, um, I think we had a problem with one of our cats a long time ago. Like our older cat, um, Shadow who passed away, she was sick and maybe they're just trying to punish us from back when she was sick. So I, I don't really know. I haven't figured it out. But anyways, um, hope you guys are having a great day today. Good to see you guys in the chat. Um, hi, um, Jacob O'Ryan. Hi, Game Wing, Leader Gator, Anthony, Brandon, and Jarrell. And hi, Lorray and, uh, and Tom. And I finally listened to uh, the Easter. Uh, uh, um, Tim Muller sent me a really cool Easter uh, light show that he did. And I've been putting it off, so... Um, I'm very thankful for him sending me that, and if I ever take a while to to answer some of your messages, um, just know I have about 50 friend requests pending for right now for my Facebook, um, and I have like over 100 messages, so I, you know, but for somebody sending me something really nice like that, I, I'll, I, I, you know, I definitely can always take the time to go and, and see it, um, so... I appreciate it so much. It actually was a really nice um, light show that Tim made. It was very beautiful, actually. He did a really great job. So whenever he gets here or next stream, I'll have to tell him. Actually, it made my cat very calm. Uh, Link was listening to the Hosanna song from the Easter service that Tim uh, made. And my cat, uh, Link, just sat down and was listening to it. And was, like, calm. It made him really calm. So... <laughs> Uh, so anyways, today we're going to try to find Scar. I don't really know what we're going to do with Scar. Uh, I think we're just going to be chilling today. Like, like it says in the title, chilling like a villain. But there should be a, because we took time to literally organize all of our house immaculately, um, there should be a, a house tour coming, like a second house tour because Luke showed his office previously with all his video game collection. I haven't really decorated my downstairs area very much. I had an idea I was going to put like cherry blossom, like like decorations down there or something. But I haven't really decorated it at all except for I have a beanbag chair. That's really the only thing. But um, basically I was able to get like there's something on Amazon where you can get something called a firm where you can make like... $10 payments a month, so if you want to get a couple posters or something. So I got, like, a, some posters and a rug, and I put it on, like, a payment plan. So, uh, basically, you know, I'll be, you know, doing it for a while, but, um, I was able to get, like, 
some uh, nice uh, a rug and some a couple nice posters in there, and I think the uh, um, I think Luke's office is looking pretty fly. I guess it's looking pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, um, I would love to see him do like a house. I would do a house tour, but I don't really know if I'm very good at that. Luke is a little bit better at those house tours than me. Uh, so hopefully he'll do one of those, you know, coming up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, right after we were done cleaning, uh, and we had a couple days that we were basically not streaming a lot, uh, Luke wanted to get views on the channel, so you guys may or may not have seen a Freedom Planet stream that happened this morning. So, yeah, so that was pretty cool, and um, I guess uh, Luke actually beat the game this morning, so that was really neat. So, good to see you, Game Wing, and Jacob Orion, Victor, and Jarrell. Hi, Tim Muller. Hi, Tim, and um, and uh, I, uh, I don't know if you saw, but I did see your light show finally, Tim, and I kind of raved about it a little at the beginning. Um, I, uh, I sent a little picture of Link and... Um, and uh, I really enjoyed it a lot. Thank you, Tim, for being such a sweetheart and being so kind. Uh, you're, you're always a kind person, even when, you know, I get stressed or people in the chat are, you know, not the kindest. You always, like, pray for them and you're always kind to them in response. You're, you're a very sweet person. Thank you, Tim, for being so patient with me. And I really loved the light show a lot. And my cat really liked it. He was walking around and he sat down and he was listening to uh, Tim's light show. Oh, you're heading to Sacramento? Okay, have a good trip, Tim. I'll be um, keeping you in my thoughts and prayers that you have a safe trip, uh, my friend. Thank you very much. And um, I hope you have a nice trip, Tim. Thank you. All right, well, have a good time in Sacramento. Well, Sacramento, California, that must be exciting. All right, so we're going to go and see if we can find um, Scar today. Let's go see where he is on the map. I just feel like hanging out with Scar. I don't know why. We've done a lot of quests with him recently, so look at him. He's solitarily in there in his little cave. You're going to California this summer? Awesome, James. That's really cool. I didn't go, didn't, but going to watch it fully. Awesome game wing. Very cool. Yeah, it, it's really nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, uh, oh, yeah, the, um, the stream this morning, maybe? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I haven't watched the uh, stream this morning myself yet, but I hope I hope too soon. All right, so we're gonna go uh, get Scar out of his cave and just hang out with him. Um, it's always good to hang out with uh, characters in Disney Dreamlight Valley, even if they're already all already leveled up to level ten, uh, because they do help you. Like, say you're mining for gems and you're hanging out with a minor character, then. Uh, basically, um, then they can basically make it so you can have, um, more stuff. Let's see. Alright, let's see. Um, basically, like, say you're mining gems, they might let you get more gems while you're at it. Okay, let's see if we can get that bird to... Alright. Oh, the bird completely left us. So yeah, if you're gardening and you're gardening carrots, more carrots will pop up. If you're mi mining gems and you're getting like amethyst stones, you'll get more amethyst. All right, we'll go say hi to Scar. Oh, what could you possibly possibly want? Um, let's hang out. Oh, he's a gardener. I live to please. <laughs> oh my gosh, Scar is pretty funny. You're going to prom today? Oh, wow, have a great time. Wow. Oh, yeah, awesome, Tim. Oh. Hi, Jacob Langlet. Hi, LaRae. 
Hi, uh, Brandon. Wow, have a great time at prom, Brandon. Wow. I feel like you've grown up before my eyes, Brandon, with playing Splatoon with you, and now you're going to prom. Oh, wow. Well, I hope you have a wonderful time, uh, uh, Brandon. That sounds really fun. Oh, wow, well, thank you, Later Gator. I happen to be the world's wow. most Wow, so Later Gator edited some custom characters of us. Really cool, thank you so much. Yeah, I remember you saying you made some custom characters. Wow, well, I'll be, I'll be uh, keeping you my thoughts and prayers, Brandon, that everything will go well. And, um, and I know any girl would be more than lucky to go with a very sweet person like you, Brandon. That's really great. I hope you have a nice time at prom. Alright, we've got a melted ancient gemstone. Oh, we haven't finished that quest from Eve. So I guess we'll put Eve on the cover next time if I remember to. Um, this is a fruit. All right, so. All right, so I'm uh, just uh, putting some extra things away real quick. Um, we got fruit here. We've got. So I hope you guys are having a nice day today. Um, I finally got a hold of one of my, um, I never, one of my brothers is really hard to get a hold of, so he always seems to be working when I'm not, so um, I finally got a hold of him today, and uh, my brothers don't really talk a lot if I try to call them, so um, just do my, my best and just... He was just doing uh, housework, I guess, and I was doing housework, so I guess it's just normal. Normal day-to-day -day things on Saturday. Of course, I wasn't really doing housework today. I was sleeping today. I, um, Luke was mainly working hard today. He went and streamed. I, I fell asleep because I um, had a lot of, um, just a lot of cleaning this week. Okay, so... Okay. <sighs> All right, so I think that's as best as we're going to actually get to do. I don't know. No, I probably shouldn't put that in there because we need that. All right, so that was a lot. All right, Scar, so what should we do? Let's see if there are any quests for Scar. Uh, maybe we can do some Simba quests while we're hanging out with Scar. We still need to level up Nala to level... Um, unlock characters Moana, Remy, Donald. Level up Friendship. So we, know, we, we need to level her up to level 10 still. So I'm kind of slowly going through this. Um, Scar is level, is he level 10? I have no idea. Where is Scar? Looks like. Alright, a lot of my characters are level 10. Oh, looks like Scar is level 10. So we'll just kind of do random stuff. We'll kind of organize the, the valley and... Okay, Simba is level 8, but I don't have any new quests from Simba. Can you tell I just kind of threw the thumbnail together and... Okay, so I just have to level up Simba to level 10 eventually. Alright, so come on, Scar, let's go. We're gonna uh, clean up the valley. 
Ah, you're pointing up. Do you mean the sun? Aha. I guess we can talk to Wally and see what his quest is. Oh, wait, that would be the Eve quest. Well, I guess we will. Let's, we can continue the Eve quest and do that. Whoa! Um. Oh no, that's the bunny quest. Bunnies on the run. So these are the weekly quests for um, for Easter. Oh, we'll do the e weekly quest. Ooh, you want me to catch bunnies running in the plaza? Let's do it. Woohoo! All right, so we're gonna do the Easter quest. Bunnies on the run. Oh, there might be an update on May 1st? Awesome, um, the eyes. Very cool. Oh. Oh, hi, Shadow Trooper. Hi, everyone. Hope you guys are doing great. Alright, so we're going to try to find the bunnies. Scar is going to help me find these bunnies. All right, we found one of them. You're making so many dreams come true. All right, that squirrel is making me think that's a bunny there. The number of friendly residents in this valley is quite impressive. Hi, um, hi, Buzz. I'm gonna have to finish Buzz's quest at some point. And I have to finish uh, Mirabelle's quest, too. Hi. Buenos dias. Um, there we go. I've got, uh, I've got to know something because when I tell Antonio about you, he's gonna ask, what's your favorite animal? Uh, butterf... I don't even know what this is. Chiguro? Ch Chigura? Ah, uh, butterfly. Oh, I like those too. That's probably not Luke's favorite animal. I'm trying to ask answer these questions as if I'm Luke. So this series kind of progressed as in like, I told Luke, okay, do you mind if I do a few episodes? And then when like Luke said, I don't mind if you do this and this Never character because, you know, like anything. I'm not really into those characters. And then when I get a character I like, I'll do the, the series again. So I was like, okay. So I started doing it, and then there was a character Luke really liked, but he didn't have time, which was Stitch. He really wanted to do um, Stitch. He wanted to um, show that character off, because he has a very cute Stitch impression. Like, it's very cute. No, no brag, just fact. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh, there's another bunny. If Elsa's here, then I'm here. I'm afraid I'm going to pull up one of my flowers when I'm chasing this bunny. Because I have to pre uh, press the same button. Okay, so let's go here. Bunny's on the run. Bring all the bunnies to Wally. Okay, Scar. So Scar, I'm just dragging him along. I'm like a mom dragging their child to the grocery store with Scar. That's what's happening right now. I need to talk to you. Hi, I I will play Scrabble Coin in a minute. Oh, uh, screw. Uh, you would have to say cheetah, says Branton. Okay. All right, let's put this. You made Luke a a Batman like character in Lego Super Villains. What powers do I want in the game? Um. Well, I I could be the bubble gum person later, Gator. That's very sweet of you to make me in the game. Um. Maybe bubblegum or like a power, like I could be like a Powerpuff character, like Powerpuff Girl, or like, I don't know, like any kind of character, um, like if there, if I can use a, I don't, I wouldn't mind using like a sports piece of sports equipment, like a tennis racket or, or, um, a laser beam or like a lasso. Those seem like fun powers. I don't really, or an explosion thing, uh, like a shooting like a fire or something. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I kind of forgot what powers there were later, Gator. But any of those, like, any kind of, like, pink weapon would be cute for me. I would like, but 
I like all kinds of colors, though. Purple, blue, teal, anything like that, I like. Oh, okay, no worries, Shadow Trooper. You're fine. Uh, for any Speedstorm players in the chat, where do you think the change... Uh, what do you think of the changes regarding the Golden Pass? Interesting, the eyes. Um, what are the changes on the Golden Pass? Maybe I should get into Speedstorm. I think I would be bad at the game. guys I'm just why did I say what's everyone's favorite character I I meant to say animal the villagers are depending on you my friend so never give up Oh, I should put an alligator. There we go. All right, we're instead of wolf. I love wolves, but wolves. We're gonna put a koala. All right, there we go. So I put four random animals. I know this is probably not everyone's favorite animals, but alligator, cheetah, butterfly, and koala. Let me know. Zebra! I almost put zebra on their game wing. Oh, I should have put zebra on the bowl. Darn it! Missed opportunity. Totally missed opportunity. Ah, uh, next time. Next time we do a favorite animal thing, I'm putting zebra on their game wing. <laughs> zebra is such a cool animal. Wow, that's a neat uh, favorite animal. And I didn't put my favorite animal on there, which is tiger. I like tigers, and I also like um, this one animal that's kind of rare called bush baby. It's like kind of like a sugar glider, but it's different. And it's from Madagascar in, um, off the coast of Africa. And it's like a little tiny creature with huge eyes. <laughs> and um, I kind of made Luke mad because... When Luke, uh, Luke doesn't, like, he, he has a very, like, he has a personality in which he's very confident when he's, you know, doing his job, but in his personal life, he's very, like, quiet and, you know, he doesn't open up to a lot of people, so when he does, like, uh, you know, when he looks at me sometimes and he's really happy, he looks like this animal called a bush baby which so I always like tell him he looks like that and he, he gets mad because he, the animal kind of looks weird but he has these cute little eyes it's kind of like a lemur but not <laughs> all right so we are gonna go back and talk to Wally um, that's a great animal for a favorite animal game wing I love zebras I almost put that on my pole darn it so I can tell you guys a story I heard off the internet. I'm going to say a less, I don't know, um, I watched a video on it. I don't know if this is a true story or not. Speaking of animals. So there was an older man and he was um, driving this car and he was in a very northern region. Like, um, like it was like he was in the tundra area. So either like. I don't know exactly. I think it was in um, Russia or it may have been in Alaska. But he was in like a very snowy area. I saw this um, video on this today. I don't know if it's a made up story or if it's real. But basically in this story, this older man, like he noticed there was trees that were put in front of the... Um, no, like in front of the, the, the road. So he realized it probably was um, 
you know, intentional, like he was going to get robbed. And basically, uh, he, he reached for something to defend himself, but before he could, uh, he was surrounded by this, uh, basically group of bandits. They were going to take his car and potentially hurt him very badly. So, um, I kind of skipped part of the, the video because I was in a hurry, but at some point during the, the story, basically, he kind of ran away and then he ended up getting caught and they were laughing at him and they were about to hurt him and, um, you know, take everything that he had. And basically right out of nowhere, when they were about to attack this older man, a wolf jumped out of nowhere and attacked the person that was going to hurt him. And he just, the wolf like attacked, there was like at least four or five guys, if not more, and he attacked one or two of them and they, you know, attacked back and the wolf basically gave his life for the, the old man. And then by that time, the authorities were alerted because they heard, you know, like a commotion and they arrested the, the two people that were left. But I guess the wolf kind of took out the other two bandits. And then when uh, the old man went over to the wolf that had saved his life, um, he went over to him and he noticed that the wolf um, like looked very much like a little wolf pup that he took in when he was um, when like he found a little abandoned wolf pup like that was like had no home and didn't have any food and he nursed it back to health so. The little, I don't know if this is a true story or not, but I saw it on the internet today and I thought that was so cute. So the wolf, like, um, actually went and saved his life later on and remembered him from, like, years ago. So that was so cute. Um, I don't know, I, I was trying to figure out for the life of me if that was a true story or not. But, um, that was pretty Need neat. Anything from the market? Just come see me. Uh, butterfly, says JS. Awesome. Do I like sharks, says PJ? Um, I think sharks are really cool. I did, a, like, um, I did, like, a, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, a report on sharks when I was younger. And, um, yeah, I, I actually kind of scared myself by doing a report, like, in seventh grade. I think I did, like, a, a report on, uh, sharks and, uh... <laughs> And I learned that they can get you in one foot of water, so that was interesting. Of course, um, you know, I know that sharks don't always attack people, obviously. <laughs> but it's, I don't know, it's kind of exciting, I guess. <laughs> Fun to think about. I don't know why I'm, I'm dark like that. Alright, so let's go give these to Wally and see what he has to say. Oh. Whoa! Bunnies on the run. There we go, there's your bunnies. Woohoo! There you go, Wally. Wally! Mm. Okay, choose an item to drop. Why is... Alright, so I guess we're just gonna drop some stuff on the ground. Um, I guess we'll just drop this piece of coal. Alright, Bunny's on the Run is complete. Knowledge, wisdom... Higher learning, that's the thing to know, says, um, says, oh, ah, darn it, wizard man. Darn it, I am just not, not good with, uh, remembering things today. <laughs> Whoa! You want to help, you want me to help gathering flowers? Let's do it. Woohoo! Blooming and blossoming. Okay, so let's try to do this quest. Craft a pretty flower basket for Wally. All right. Do, do I like dogs? Um, says Jarrell. I like dogs. I, I grew up with a dog. I used to take my dog on a paper route every day. Uh, my dog's name was Cody, and he was a, a Labrador Retriever. Very big dog. And he was very sweet. Of course, my family moved into not the nicest neighborhood because we needed to be closer to my grandparents and 
I always felt bad because my dog had to scare away, like, mean-looking people by barking at them. And my dog is a very sweet dog, so I didn't want my dog to have to do that. Um, but... Our dog, Cody, he really loved to, um, like, go out. He loved to swim. Flat-coated Labrador Retrievers love swimming. Um, so he was like a part lab, part retriever. So, um, he loved swimming in the water. He loved, um, just romping around and running. Like, we used to go to the nature preserve and let him off his leash and he would just run, like, so fast. Um, he loved, like, jumping up on me and putting his paws up on me and, like, kind of almost giving me a hug. He could almost put his paws right on my neck like where he would almost be like giving me a hug so he was that big like he was so big he could stand up and be just as tall as me mm, he really was like always happy my dog my dog passed away quite a while ago when i was a teenager but luke isn't a fan of dogs he got bit by a dog before so he doesn't really like dogs i mean he likes them fine like, when we meet somebody's dog, he pets them or says hello, but he doesn't really want a dog because uh, he's had bad experiences with them before. Also, my dog Cody, uh, a few times when I was on a paper route and I got actually, like, attacked by other dogs, um, he actually defended me and saved my life a few times, so... My dog was a very sweet dog. He was just a, such a good boy. Hey there, pal. Come here. If it were me, I would ride a dolphin. They are adorable, says JS. Yeah, dolphins are really cute. Would I rather ride a whale or a dolphin, says um, the eyes. I think I would rather... I love your creative ideas, the eyes. Um, I don't know. I think personally, I think I would ride... I mean, it would be really cool. I mean, especially if it was a really big whale. I mean, I would be afraid, but if I had the opportunity and the whale, like, I don't know if the whale, if I was in a magical world where the whale talked to me and said, don't worry, Amber, I'll give you a ride. And I was like, okay. And then I rode on its back. I think that would be my ideal scenario for that. <laughs> so I knew it would be okay. And, um, yeah, I, I would love to ride a whale, I think, especially a big one, like a really huge whale. That would be really cool. I would be afraid if it went underwater, though. Uh. Alright, so we gathered a lot of flowers here. Oh my gosh. Uh. Alright, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's see here. All right, so we're going to put some food over here. I've got mushrooms, um, this fruit. All right. And I'm just going to try to put the rest of my flowers away. Why is it not letting me... Alright, I just like to get as many things out of my pockets as possible, so sorry it takes me a little bit. Okay, alright, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna try to... Hi, Scar! I'll talk to him and see what he wants. <laughs> hey, K-Wing Charmed. Let's see if we can give him something. A carp, a piranha, a tuna burger. Ooh. Ooh, let's see if we can make a tuna burger. You look sad. 
Life's not fair, is it? I have to contend with countless fools trying to deny me my rightful place as king, and you have to deal with this bumbling parade of incompetence stumbling around your village. Um... As you say, as you like to say, I'm surrounded by fools. Yes, it's in our lot in life to suffer, surrounded by incompetence not worthy of us. Perhaps you could give me control over more of the valley. Wouldn't it be a refreshing change to work with someone capable? Okay, I'm trying to close up on Scar's face, but, like, he's kind of a little too close for me. Here we go. Mm, no way. Uh, uh, you're lost. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's uh, let's see how do we make a tuna burger. Oh, awesome! Hi, Matt. Hi, Matthew Drakeley. Says hi, K wife. How are you? I recently saw you guys are still streaming this, so I've been playing these game and this game and inspiration of seeing these streams. Awesome. That's amazing. Would I rather have a veggie burger or a plant burger, says the eyes. I mean, I don't really know what a plant burger is, but I guess a plant burger would be made more with, like, um, like plants, like veggie or plant burger. I guess veggie burger would be more like, uh... Like, mushrooms and beans, and I'm guessing, like, if I was making a plant burger, it'd be more, like, made with, like, wheatgrass or something. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know which one I would prefer, the eyes. Uh, maybe a plant burger. Maybe. I would like to try a plant burger, because I've tried veggie burgers before, so maybe a plant burger would be better. I don't know. Okay, so let's, uh... I just love it. Tuna burger, um, Alright, so we need one piece of tuna, one wheat, one lemon, one onion, and one vegetable. Okay, so let's try to make this tuna burger if we can. Okay, Scar, let's see if we have any tuna, first of all. Alright, one tuna, one piece of wheat. Um, and don't worry, guys, I'm not going to do a lot of these right now. I'm not going to do a lot of recipes. I know it gets kind of uh, monotonous doing a lot of these recipes at once. Okay, one lemon, one onion. Mm. Yeah, well, thank you for playing um, the game in honor of uh, me streaming this again, um, Matthew. That's awesome. Yeah, Luca might be on some of the streams of this in the future. We'll see. He might do it. Especially for a new update, it's possible he would do it. Okay, so maybe lettuce. I think we should go with lettuce. Cause I, so we got lettuce, onion, carrot, or lettuce, onion, um, lemon, and wheat, and tuna. Okay, let's try it. Tuna burger! And that's a five-star recipe. Awesome. All right, so let's see. We can give that to Scar and see if he likes it. If it isn't K-Wing, I have something to give you, Scar. Five star. He's really happy about that. <laughs> I can't wait to meet everyone. Um, yeah, I mean, Luke did about 80 streams, I think, and then I did, like, the last 30 or so. But, of course, a lot of my streams have been, like, small. Some of my streams have been shorter. So, I mean, 
I might have to change my thumbnail design so that I can fit the numbers on here better. So we'll see what happens because also I might have to mix this up with other games, but honestly they keep adding to this game. So if they keep adding, I'll keep doing it. A token of your respect, I accept. Why, if it isn't K-Wing. Um, okay, let's try to find him a carp. Alright, so we're gonna go... We're gonna go try to find a carp here. Oh, hi, Na Naomi. Happy birthday. Oh, wow. Sorry, Luke isn't here. Oh, wow. Happy birthday, Naomi! Thank you so much! <laughs> wow, member for nine months! Awesome, Naomi! And um, thank you so much, uh, Miss Naomi, for uh, uh, keeping me in your thoughts and prayers for the apartment stuff and being so kind always. I appreciate it so much. Thanks for always being so reassuring and kind. And uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day, Naomi. Hope you hope you do something really nice for your birthday, and uh, and hope you and your and um, and your family are having a nice day together. You and your son and and daughter, and everyone there. Um, and thank you for all your generosity for the channel and all that you've done to help the channel stay on the air. We appreciate you so much, Naomi. Thank you. And I'll tell Luke it's uh, your birthday today so he can give a, a happy birthday message to you too and say happy birthday on the next stream. All right, so let's try to make this pretty flower basket. Wait, we made one pretty flower basket. Okay, so we're going to go back and... All right, we made some extra dream light. Um, hi, Vanellope. Okay. So we've got 2,000 uh, dream light right now. Alright, we are going to go... Um... Oh, we didn't actually give a carp to Scar, but that's okay. We're going to... Uh, we're going to... Maybe we will in a little bit. We're going to go try to find Wally. Wally. <sighs> All right. Um, let's see. Where are we? It's amazing how good I feel after taking a nap. But I don't know. All right. Let's see. I don't see Wally over here. Where did he go? There he is. Okay. Oh yeah, the Nelope has a quest. Thank you, um, the, uh, the eyes. Hi, uh, YouTube Agent 4. Um, hope you're having a great day. Great to see you. And I hope everyone, I hope you're doing well. Yeah, this game was on hiatus for a while because we lost, uh, our computer file of the thumbnail. And I keep meaning to actually make a different... Because I keep taking pictures at the end of every episode, as you guys can see. So I keep wanting to make that into the thumbnail, but I never end up getting a chance. Um, but maybe I will if I get a second. Alright, we're going to talk to Wally. Woo! There you go, Wally. Wally! And I got some eggs. Blooming and blossoming is complete. Wally. That's right, of uh, the eyes. Blooming and blossoming is complete. Eva. Oh, 
there's Naomi. Thank you, everyone. Of course, Naomi. <laughs> Have a great birthday, Naomi. Thank you for so much for stopping by on your birthday. Oh, so nice of you to say hello. Thank you. Oops. Oh, we need to get a new outfit for Luke, I think. Yeah, we might go see Vanellope today, the eyes. We'll see. Uh, maybe I will. Alright, so we did Blooming and Blossoming. Maybe we can see what we can craft with all of the... Um, with all of the... Uh, With all the eggs that we have now, I don't know if we could craft something else. Oh, nothing seems to be relieving your boredom. That's alright. I, I don't... Nothing really relieves my boredom either, Game Wing. I don't... Um, I have to force myself to do things. Uh, I, I always feel like I have to appear normal <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> like, I look at what other people do and... Um, and then I try to figure out, okay, I guess other people do this. Maybe I should try this. Um, it took me a long time to figure out that I'm a kind of like a weird, I, I don't know if I'd be a weird personality type, but uh, when I went to culinary, they told me that my personality type is INFJ. So basically that means that I'm weird and I'm, I'm definitely not like everyone else. So, um, it's like only like one to three percent of people in the world or something are INFJ personality types. So I'm not like anyone else, but I mean, I think no, none of us are like anyone else. So, you know, like for me, I really have tried, uh, to try to appear normal lately. Like I, I kind of like looked at what everyone else is doing and then I try to do that a little bit or I, Whatever, basically, whatever makes you feel really happy. Like, for me, I never used to like reading books. And then, uh, well, I used to read them when I was younger. And then school kind of made me hate reading. Um, so I stopped reading for a long time. And then um, I realized, I remember my dad used to read The Hobbit to me and stuff. And I really uh, forgot about that. And I and I'm actually reading The Hobbit right now, and but it it's hard for me because I will get bored if I'm just reading. I, I listen to books on tape myself, and then I, I do like I do two things at once usually when I'm uh, when I'm bored. So like I will listen to a book on tape. I'll put like a ten minute timer on, or even a five minute timer on. And then listen to my book on tape, and then I'll do like a little. I always do the same game on my phone. It's like a block puzzle thing on my phone. I do it whenever I'm listening to something. So I will sit there listening, but I'll do my block puzzle while I'm listening. That way it gives me something to do while I'm listening, because it's hard to just sit and listen. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I mean, it's definitely, uh, it's hard to, to find what makes you, what makes you feel happy and helps you not to be bored. It's definitely something you'll probably have to, uh, and then your interests will probably change when you get older and you'll, you'll have different things like you'll like this for a while and then when you get older you'll probably not like it as much. Like for me, I... That's like kind of why I wanted to go into cooking classes was because I, I hated cooking and uh, I uh, it was so boring for me sitting there looking at the pot waiting for it to be done. So I took cooking classes so it would make it more exciting for me. So um, yeah, but it's, yeah, I mean usually, um, yeah, I mean like I don't really know what to say. I, I usually... Uh, yeah, if anyone else has some interesting advice for Game Wing, if you guys are bored, what do you guys do when you're bored? Anyone have anything that you guys do to help yourself? Um, I usually... <laughs> the things I like to do are usually the things that make everyone else bored, like listen to documentaries. 
I like to learn things when I'm bored. Like, I'll listen to a documentary and... I think I've watched the same Roman Empire documentary three times. Um, and then, like, halfway through the documentary while I'm doing the dishes or something, I'll be listening to it and I'm like... I'm thinking to myself, I know that I've heard this before. It doesn't, it takes me an hour and a half before I finally realize I've already heard that one. Hi, Alpha. Hi, PJ. Hi, um, everyone. Reading books helps relieve my boredom to a certain extent, says Alpha. Yeah. Well, when I'm bored, I force myself to do something. Like, today, I cleaned so much yesterday that today I'm looking at the house. There's nothing to do. Like, there's nothing to do because I already did it all. So, I don't really have anything to do. Um, honestly, when I'm really bored, I just take a nap. I, that's my default. I just go to sleep. Like, if I really don't know what to do, I take a nap. And, like, after I've slept for an hour, then I can get up and I then I have some more ideas of what I could do. <laughs> That's literally my default, like, because, um, yeah, I just, uh, <laughs> I, when I'm, when I'm bored, I, I realize that I can't think straight. Like, I, I have no idea what I'm going to do. So, I felt like that today, definitely. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, um, alright, so, you know, that's the button I meant to push. I like koalas, they are cute, and they do not abandon their kids. Awesome, Deanna, very cool. Books and video games, self-educate, there you go, Alpha. I like them too, says Game Wing 1. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, very cool. Uh, good to see you, Deanna. Hope you're having a great day. I think about my passions. I do the best I can to make use of my day. Yeah, definitely, PJ. I agree. Like, think about, I mean, I never seem to get bored anymore because I have so little time. Like, I, I feel like I, I'm always running out of time. Like, I think about all the things that I would like to do in life. Like, music and, you know, like, being better at the business running and maybe being better better at organizing, being better at doing my taxes, um, doing different things like that. And then I, and then there's other, like, things I really would like to learn to, like, do watercolor or draw better and stuff like that or actually make sure I get to the park more and stuff. So I always seem to have, like, this list of things and then I try to, exactly, that's a great idea, PJ. Like, think of the things you want to do in life and then do something towards that. Like, for me, it's like I finally have my room organized for my piano. So now I won't have a lot of time to be bored because hopefully I'm going to try to force myself to. I think, I think it's good to be bored, though, because then at least you have fun in life. When you push yourself too hard, then, then that's not good either because then you end up overworking yourself and you never end up relaxing so I would say sometimes it's okay to be bored because then at least you can relax um so that's good I, I notice on on days that I do ever I get everything done in my day I'm very stressed out and I feel terrible because it's like well I did everything I was supposed to but I still feel terrible because I just spent the whole day just doing things, you know, forcing myself to get things done. All right, there we go. All righty, let's see if we can, let's try to make this path, uh... I don't know if we can make the path continue...
Yeah, well, with my cats, I'm never bored because they always have something that, like, even if I'm, like, just feeling blah, my cats are always excited about something. Either my cats see a bug outside or, like, you know, whatever they're, whatever they're up to, they always are doing something interesting. They're always excited about something. Uh, my dog was like that, too, where he would see snow outside, he'd be super excited. Or even, like, my cats, like, now, it's like, if I give them food or crunchies, they're always meowing and, like, really excited about eating. Just, like, just, like, basically just, just eating food. They're, like, super stoked. Like, yeah, it's time to eat. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. That's what I really liked about, um, one game I really liked that helped me with boredom was, like, Disney Infinity because, uh, it was just really, you could create so much in that game. Alright, I'm gonna go back over here and we're gonna see if we can extend the, the, um, see if I can extend this path. Alright, so let's see if we get the right path here. And I made a bunch of paths before... Like, every time I have a few more seconds, like, any extra time, I just use it to, like, make more path. <laughs> um, oh, wait, this isn't the right one. This is a mud path, I think. Okay. Okay, we want the sun-baked path. So the sun-baked one is for the sunny area, which is, uh, I was going to say Tarzan's area. It's uh, Simba's area. There we go. All right, let's see. Oh no, I used all of it. Oh no, we ran out. Oh, darn it. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I was wrong. I, I didn't. good relationship. Every mother and daughter has difficulties. Um. Mm. Uh, my mom uh, was very, very proud of me for a lot of things. Jacob Orion. Hi, Daffy. Hi, everyone. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Well, I think we're gonna, we're gonna change this, uh, this road a little bit. So we're gonna actually, um, this road like this. Uh Well, I think that's good enough. It's a little bit crooked, but it's better than nothing. We can always fix it later. So we've basically made a road going around the entire area now. Yeah, thank you, the eyes. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. It's very sweet, the eyes. Oh, let's see. Yeah, 
I, uh, let's see. I uh, think there was, like, a game character that was in one of our video games we were doing. I can't remember what it was, but they said they wanted to make, like, their family member proud who had passed away. And they said, well, you could do, you could do something that could make them proud right now. And that's kind of what I do, uh, think about with my mom is she passed away. But I, um, you know, I'd always wanted to finish music school and I didn't get a chance. So I'm really hoping I can, uh you know, finish music school and that, um, she, you know, I'm sure she'll, she'll see me from heaven and, and see that I finished. Um, I think like do, uh, doing something that, um, that, you know, would make them proud of you would, is, is always a good thing, um, to do. It kind of feels like they're still there then, um, like encouraging you and stuff like that. I actually, my mom was one of the most encouraging people for my music, um, so, um, yeah. Alright, so, I don't really know, we, we already crafted something for, uh, okay, so we can make this stone canvas for, oh, it's already 413, but maybe we can do one more item. So let's make this stone... Look at Scar. He's so enthused. He's so enthused. My gosh. He really hates being with me. All right. So let's make this stone canvas for... Um, I don't know how many we need. Let's make one for, for Eve. And then maybe we can go and say hi to Eve and complete the quest. All right. All right. Bring the canvas to Eve. Let's see if she's here. And if she's not here, we'll go to the other area, like the, the other area. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, um, you know, a lot of people, like, for instance, like the people at my apartment complex and stuff, they don't really care what my hopes and dreams are, obviously, and your boss at work and everyone, they always kind of want you to keep working harder. IRS just wants you to pay taxes. And, you know, it's your family that really makes life worth living because they actually care if you got, you know, if you got an A on your, if you got to do your hopes and dreams, if you, you know, if you drew a nice, uh, if you painted something beautiful in art class, your family is the ones that, that, can encourage you in that kind of thing. Things that actually make you happy. Whereas, like, life, if you don't have family, life just keeps bombarding you and forcing you to just keep doing things that make them happy. Um, you know, like your apartment owner and your your boss at work, and that'll just suck you di uh, dry after a while. You, if you, you please everyone around you, you'd become like a model citizen, always pay your bills on time and everything. But you never ever pursue your hopes and dreams. You're going to be such a, a sad person and you're going to feel depressed because you're not doing anything that you actually wanted to do in life. So, you know, you can be really great at life, like paying your bills and doing everything perfectly. and But you might not be happy inside. So that, I think that's what's great about family is they, they know you so well and... They can encourage you and be like, remember that one th time you said you wanted to be a lawyer or you said you wanted to go skydiving or whatever you wanted. Like, they, you know, they can encourage you think the things that actually make your heart happy, you know. So that's what's really great about family that loves you and, and cares about you. Um, let's see. I don't know where Eve just went. I, I lost track of her. She just completely left again. Oh, wow. She literally warped over here. Alright, here we go. Eva. Whoa, directive. Are you ready to create your own masterpiece? Eva. Let's go to the secret garden together, Eve. Alright, so we have just enough time to go to the secret garden. Okay.
Yeah, definitely. If you have a family member that always puts everyone down, it definitely hurts. I mean, you know, as they say, like, uh, what is that, um, like, uh, I forgot who it was, um, the guy who wrote the Huckleberry Finn novels, I can't remember what his name is, but he said, like, I can live for a month on a good compliment. And, like, there's a lot of uh, famous words about, you know, that, you know, like, uh, you know, saying a good thing to somebody, encouraging them, and helping somebody with your words and saying, you know, like, you should do this, or, you know, if you like art, you should try this, or, or if you enjoy even anything. It doesn't even have to be art. It can be anything that you enjoy. If, you, if video games make you happy, then you should do more of that. That I'm makes you feel happy. But sometimes other people will come in and, and kind of put you down. Like, oh, you know, oh, you think you're going to be a lawyer? Like, oh, wow. How's that working out for you? So, like, people can be really put people down and it can really discourage you from uh, just living your life or make you feel like giving up. Yeah, it's definitely good to be away from people like that. Definitely alpha. It's hard because people think, well, you can just let it slide off your shoulders, but if you're hearing it every day, you can't really let it slide off your shoulders. Eventually it's going to get to you and you're going to start to get super depressed um, hearing that all the time. That's why I was very upset about what, like in that game with, uh, like the the Phoenix Wright game when the woman was saying to her daughter Rafa that she was not she didn't look good enough that was very heart hurtful for me because you know like a little girl cares a lot what their mom like their mom should tell them that you know a little girl that she's the most beautiful girl in the world that's what your job is as a mom is to make your little girl feel pretty so yeah, it was uh, difficult in that game. I was getting very upset with that lady in that game. Alright, so we're going to go back to that garden area. Sorry, I kind of like uh, lost track of where I was going. Yeah, I mean, your uh, words really, like... Um, like, I uh, did, I saw this little experiment, I don't know if anyone has ever heard of the jar of rice experiment they did in Japan, but basically a jar of rice, if you have a jar of rice, you cook two jars of rice, actually they usually do three jars of rice, so you say good words to one jar of rice, you literally speak to the rice, like you say, you're doing great today, or you look beautiful, or I hope you have a great day. You speak to the rice every day, and then you say mean things to the other rice, like you're a loser. Like you cook two thing, you took cook a pot of rice and put it into two jars, and you speak mean things to one thing of rice every day, and you speak good things to another, and you label them. And then at the end of the week, they found that, like in Japan and stuff like that, and people have recreated this experiment, that the jar of rice that you speak mean things to every day after a week. It starts to get moldy and like black and it starts to go bad and the jar of rice that you speak good things to it doesn't go bad as fast so literally your words are actually giving you life your word kind words are actually and it, and if it affects rice that much imagine how much harsh words affect other human beings and I remember like seeing that experiment and I thought I my gosh so like, I, as a human being, I'm responsible for how I talk to other people because it can be affecting them um, without me even knowing. Um, so, yeah, it's very important how you speak to people. Uh, so, yeah. People keep trying to discredit that experiment, but so many people have redone it and found that that is true, that your words are actually affecting, like, plants, rice, people, animals. Like, if you're you're mean to your pet and you say bad dog all the time your pet's gonna start to feel sad like however you speak to people is gonna affect them so it is really important to stay away from people that are really negative I agree alpha yeah Directive. um whenever you're ready Eve you can place the stone canvas and use your lasers to decorate it whoa um Eve does this mean you're proud of your own work Eve that goes to show you how 
Something negative can turn into something positive. Oh! I guess you'd like to go back to Wally now. Wally! I'll see you around. Directive! Lasers and crafts is complete. So, I don't... Oh, there it is! This is her art project she did. Wait, Eve! Oh, well, that's alright. We'll have Scar in the thumbnail. All right, there, there's a little picture of her and Wally. So cute. Words have power. Definitely game one one. Yeah, she is a bad queen. Definitely game one. Yup, very true. Oh yeah, I can make a game character like myself. Definitely Daffy Duck. All right, guys and gals. Um, uh, Alright guys and gals, thank you so much for watching um, this episode of Disney Dreamlight Valley. It's kind of like a laid back thing, so, you know, next episode, uh, next stream will be a little bit more exciting, but I, <laughs> as Luke says, I have a voice that puts people to sleep, so I don't know how to take that, but I'm going to say that, I'm going to take it as a compliment. <laughs> so, um, alright guys, well, I'll see you guys in about, uh, ten minutes for the next stream, which will be, um, which will be, um, Ace Attorney, Apollo Justice, in about ten minutes from now. Thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me today, and we'll see you guys in just a bit on the next stream. God bless, happy gaming, see ya!